Hi. Glad you got down with that song uh, five days ago that I posted. I like that song a lot. Copyright. So here I am in Stamford, Connecticut, where I will be living for a few more weeks. And then uh, I don't know where I'm going to be living. I've been doing this uh, bouncing around. You know, I lived in my car. And my friends, I lived in Bill's car for a while, too. Uh, it's mildly exhausting to not have a place, you know, for more than a month at a time. Mildly. It's not the most exhausting thing in the world. Because I have money, but I just choose different places to live. It's very odd. It's a very strange lifestyle. Um, you know, I've got my two realities. I'm working on mines and I'm, I want to just throw it all away and go to the West Coast. Uh, and, you know, I'm realizing that's crazy. Like, so for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm focused on a job. Even the acting, I mean, obviously, I guess the acting I was pretty focused on for a while, but, you know, I, I was pretty quick to choose YouTube videos over commercial work, just because I do what I want. Um, so to really focus on a job that I like is rewarding, extremely rewarding. Uh, you know, it's like I see you see this daily change in the environment. It's really awesome. Your hands are molding the environment like clay, like magic numbers, watching those analytics fly. Excuse me. I was just going through. It's a little late and I'm a little tired, which to me doesn't really matter, but to the infinite universe of this rec of recording that's getting this video and you're going to be watching it at, at 2 in the afternoon and you're like, oh, I'm so tired now watching this guy with his tired energy. Well, you know, my roommate's asleep. Chris, he's in there resting. 5 in the morning is what it is. Um, but hey, I'm a night owl sometimes. And I was just watching old videos. My God. I was going through some of my old Ian Cross on videos, and then some of my Cross Mac videos, and like, I, you know, I made a lot of these videos, I would get stoned, I remember when I started smoking pot, or like shortly after I'd started smoking pot, I, I would like have these conversations, and I, I couldn't remember what I was, had, was talking about, and you know, if you've ever smoked pot, or know people that smoke pot, that's... That's a very common uh, thing when you smoke pot. There's a you you don't necessarily remember, and it has to do with the axon. It was the axons and neurons. I don't know, dendrites and normally your 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 neurons like they they fire and then another one opens and then they close to rest and then another one fires and it responds and then they close. But with the THC and the cannabinoids are in your brain, they fire and they open and they stay open. So you you have this continuous fluid thought that's like so intense but you don't have a chance to rest and like remember and like lock it away into your long-term memory so I decided while I was going through that I was like trying to write it out and it was like ah, I was just having these thoughts so fast and I couldn't write it out properly so I was like oh, fuck it I'll make videos at first I, I was doing recordings I was like I'll just make videos and that way in a couple of years or whatever, I can look back at my notes and, and see what I thought, and it's amazing. I, I believe in communication, above all else, kindness and purity, and helping people. When you communicate openly and honestly with someone out of kindness, there's nothing you can't do. Everyone is open to it. And you know, this is how I used to talk. I've, I've since kind of tried not to use the word everyone, all the time, nothing, no one. You know, they're just not, it's not that accurate. You're never going to, there's never, it's like a, 
It's rare that you'll find everyone falls into a category, and it's rare that you find that no one falls into a category. So, most people respond favorably to honest kindness. And you can say that to anyone. You can approach anyone and communicate with them directly and tell them whatever you think with love. I think that's the key. And I hope not to forget that. I'm glad that I've marked it in my own life. And it's good to go back and see what you've done and remember. Use it to empower you forward. If it was a little earlier, or uh, if Chris wasn't sleeping, in, I, I would probably get very passionate about this right now, about communication. Um, that's also a great thing about working out, because accessing your passion literally is it's a chakra. They, there's different chakras, you know, the crown chakra. Uh, you have your, your third eye, which is a chakra. Uh, your neck is one. Your, your heart is one, and then below your heart is, is your courage, and then below that is your passion. It comes from here. I don't know if you can see that. It comes from here. Like, this is your, this is your courage. This is your passion. And then you've got your root chakra. Uh this one, the passion chakra. When you work out, you know, cobra position in yoga and stuff, or just when you, you know, you work on your posture and make sure your, your dynamo, your coil of, uh, there's like a coil of energy that goes through you, through all your chakras, and you can kind of pull it tight in both directions at once, and it really strengthens and opens up your core, your root, everything, like kind of gives you this sense of uh, symmetry and openness when you work that a lot and it's like it's not something you just do for an hour and then go back to being you know sucked down by the earth which you can do there's nothing wrong with that but if you work constantly at keeping your posture really good you know you're, it's it's like constant workout it's like meditation it's like a 24/7 a way of life you have access to your chakras, and one of those is your passion, and you can fucking explode it, like, at any time if you have access to it. So, that's something that I've learned uh, the last couple years, almost. Year, two years, something like that. You know, I always think I had, like, an inherent ability or access to it, but but I didn't know how. I just... I just could do it. Now I feel like I know how, which is great, man, because uh, it's easier to talk about it. You know, I can kind of explain my behavior a little better. But, you know, like I said, demonstrating it right now would not be appropriate. It would be legal, but not appropriate. Did you see Eric Holder, the, the Attorney General, talking about uh, bombing Americans. The guy was asking him, I don't know, the Texas senator or something was asking him if it would be, if it's constitutionally legal for the American government to bomb an American citizen that is suspected of terrorism if they're not posing an imminent threat, like they don't have a gun pointed at someone. And Eric Holder, the attorney general, was like, well, I, I, you know, I, I don't think that would be appropriate. And he's like, well, that's not what I'm asking if it would be appropriate. I'm asking you, would it be constitutionally legal? And Eric Holder's like, I, I mean, I, it's just, it, it wouldn't be a, an appropriate response. He's like, well, that's great. I'm not asking if it would be appropriate. I'm asking you if it's legal. And Holder was just shifting, sniving, you know, just like terrified to say, no, it wouldn't be legal, or yes, it would be legal. And uh, eventually, I think the guy got him to say no, that it wouldn't be legal. Speaking of legality and appropriation, that's what got me on that tangent. Um, there's a video of Eric Holder freaking out. I'll put a link to it. I made a blog out of it on Minds. 
Uh, I think I'm going to go rest and turn in for the eve. If you happen to see this in midday, sorry for the confusion. It is 5.10 a.m. right here, right now. And I will be off and up out. Thanks again for the comments on the copyright video at, my, uh, at Wisdom. That was a blast. We might go so play some coffee shops. This is a new headset. And I still like to play with paper and drink water. Sorry, I don't want to get cheeky. See you later, man.